Following a translimbal tunnel creation, tripan blue staining, a good large CCC, this large nucleus has been prolapsed into the anterior chamber, appears to be quite hard. A snare was introduced under visco protection behind the nucleus. Nucleus is well centered. Snare is made, the, the plane of the snare is exactly perpendicular to the plane of the nucleus and it can be easily bisected in the anterior chamber protecting the endothelium with frequent injection of viscoelastic. Nucleus is removed with using a special microvectus. The anterior surface of the nucleus is made parallel to the cornea so that no part of it rubs against it. It's a single tunnel, there is no side port. You see that the visco is being injected continuously as the nucleus is sliding out. Let us see it in slow motion. I am taking this nair and bringing it to the front of the nucleus from its left pole. It's being maneuvered. I am still rotating it clockwise till it comes to the center of the nucleus. Tighten the grip on it and adjusting it so that two halves are exactly cut. Now the plane of the wire vectors is exactly perpendicular to the plane of the lens. I am holding it tight. Now I will start cutting it. it though it's the nucleus is very hard, whatever may be the hardness, this wire cuts the nucleus extremely easily. Damage to the endothelium needs to be protected. As the nucleus is taken out from the capsular bag, the traction and the forces on the zonules is nil. Even the zonules are compromised, doesn't really matter because nothing is being done in the capsular bag. It's of paramount importance that you protect the endothelium in these maneuvers by using continuous infusion of HPMC in front of the nucleus. The nucleus also can be trisected if it's needed. And uh, after the cortical aspiration, a lens will be implanted in the capsular bag and there is no need to suture the tunnel. The, this tunnel produces less than half diopter of ASA because it's not stretched during the surgery. It's important to ensure that the iris is not caught between the lens and the virovectus to avoid the iridodialysis. Surgery is done under topical and intracameral lignocaine. Thank you.